Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide. And this time we are getting it all in the very cool, crazy gravity. Now this was developed by JM Nito Game Dev, Rattalika Games, published by East Asia Soft, and is available for a nice small £4.19, but is on sale at the moment for just £3.35. So we play as Little Astronaut Man, Astro. Original name I know, I just came up with it. I am so clever. Um, as we have to contend with not only spikes and electric lasers in this platform game, but also gravity. It can be your greatest bit of life or your most annoying death. <laughs> it is easy, but it is quite fun too. So achievements and trophies wise, you only have to complete the first 12 levels while collecting an energy source on the first 6. We only need to collect 6 throughout the game, so that's all we need. Now there's going to be maybe moments of confusion as going to the other side of gravity switches the controls around, i.e. left is now right and right is now left, etc. But you should get used to it relatively quickly. Overall though, the levels are very short, so you should only be looking at around 15 minutes or so for the completion, maybe even less. So, with that being said then, let us begin. So, um, our spaceships basically crash, it's one of those typical ones, because it always ends up crashing, so press the start button, and press the first level. Now there's only two buttons to contend with, and that is obviously moving with the left stick, and uh, double jumping uh, by tapping A twice, and that is an energy source that we just picked up, was the uh, sort of electric bolt. So when you go underneath in the sort of red section, or underground, or you know, the, the lower half, Basically, left means right, and right means left, so it's just one of those that, especially in these sort of later levels from level 7 onwards, uh, you may end up finding yourself dying a couple of times just from uh, getting used to it, but it's not too crazy, it's not too shabby. Uh, again, it is one of those sort of easy platform games that you get used to relatively quickly, so... Um, when in terms of jumping to the other side, what I tend to do is hit the A button, leave it until you're at your highest bit of jump, and then jump again. That is to sort of make sure that you can jump to the other side. Because um, if you just um, double tap the A button in quick succession, you don't get enough um, momentum. That's the word I was on about. Momentum. So that's why you hit the A button, wait until you're at your highest jump, and then press the A button again. That is to jump even higher. So... Yeah, these first couple of levels then may basically sort of act as a tutorial. So you just want to jump off the highest um, bit of platform there, uh, get to the other side. That should now be your third energy source. Uh, we're already on to level four then. So again, 10 to 15 minutes is what you're looking at. Here are the electric... Um, <laughs> yeah, don't run into them either because funnily enough you die. Wait until the electric laser stops of course and you'll have to find these buttons to push to in order to get through to the other side. Make sure to collect this fourth energy source, jump up, big jump and straight on the Dreamcast logo. Which apparently is supposed to be a portal but that will always be a Dreamcast logo to me. So <laughs> level 5 anyway, Delishimundo. So it starts to get maybe a little bit trickier now. Um, hopefully you've got used to it by now. We're going to collect the energy source on the left, so just wait until the electric stops zapping. Do your jump, and then obviously make sure to just jump straight through. Again, you don't want to be hitting the uh, double jump too quickly, because you'll land straight in the spikes, and you'll be spiking upside your head. Jump to the left to uh, get this Mario-style button, and then you should be able to just do a big old jump straight to the other side. Dreamcast logo. That's that level done. So there we go, already halfway through. Sometimes, if you've especially been playing a hard game, games like this are just a nice breakaway. But if these are the games all you play, then, man, go ahead, play something else, jeez. Right, anyway, obviously a lot of spikes now, so this is where I mean by you have to um, time your jumps a little bit more carefully, rather than just going in full pelt. Head down all the way to the bottom right-hand side, and then do one big massive jump, bam, then jump up to the left. So jump up to the left again, avoiding the spikes. You'll have to wait until the electric laser nips off to right. And then just go ahead, collect this um, energy source. And that should be the last one, so you don't actually have to worry about them. Now we can just jump straight through to the end of the level, trying to get to the Dreamcast logo as quick as we can. Because again, from level 7 onwards here, it does start getting maybe a little bit more trickier in terms of um, placing spikes and these electric lasers and everything. So as soon as it stops, jump down and head to the right, which of course would now be the left. 
Again, do a couple of big time jumps, and then just wait here. What you'll have to do then is, once again, jump down to the bottom right, and then just give yourself one big jump, big bit of momentum, and then straight up to the left. From here, you can literally just jump down, jump up to the right, push the button, and then what you'll have to do is do the same thing. We can't actually jump up there, so we have to jump to the bottom right, give yourself one, and then two big spunky jumps, up we go, that's level 7 done. So you can see we're trying to get the energy source would be a bit of a pain in the old uh, testy clay. And nobody likes a pain in the old genitalia, oh god no. Should probably see a doctor if you've got pains down there to be honest. So we're just going, jumping down and going to the right here. Again we'll have to be waiting, uh, wait until the electrics starts coming to the left and then jump around it. And then jump to the right here. And then what you'll have to do is jump to the left. And then jump to the left there. So, sorry about the potential confusion, but the right and left. So up here is where you'll find the button. And then you should actually be okay now to just jump straight on through to the other side. I say that in every single video. If you can actually make it there. For some reason I was having issues. So what are we on now? Level 09. Not the problem at all, as Chris Pratt says in his American-Italian voice. Right, as we jump up to the highest point, jump. Again, we're going to be using that sort of as big a height as you can. So jump the once, and then when you're at your biggest peak of jump, then jump again. And that is how you get to that ledge at the top. Uh, we're just going to wait for this to stop, and then we can just jump down. You'll have to go immediately to the right. Uh, again, if you don't get this straight away, that's okay. You shouldn't hit any spikes. And straight into the Dreamcast logo for level 9 complete. So we've already got 10, 11, and 12 left now. It's nice. So obviously jump down and then just head to the right. This one again may take a couple of tries. And I'll tell you, I'll show you where now. Just like level 9 with getting the button, this is kind of the same. So jump down, wait until the electric um, laser stops. And then jump from this smaller platform. You'll have to jump once. And then you'll have to give yourself a big... Uh, sort of another jump as quick as you can and obviously before you hit the spike so that one may take uh, one or two tries to get right uh, but easy when you get there so don't worry about the spikes just jump up and you'll do a small sort of small jump but you need to go to the well you can collect the energy source if you want but it makes no difference we're just heading left anyway jump up under, up onto the right platform again avoiding the uh, I got kind of got <laughs> kind of got my big balls out then my tiny little Tiny little balls, I uh, got lucky with that one, but just jumping straight through and over the spike. So, level 11. Again, these two levels are not uh, particularly bad. It only just gets a little bit um, more intense from level 7 onwards. Wait for the electric laser to go down. Again, get my tiny little tester clays out there. Getting in quite lucky. Hit this. Now, with these spikes on the next uh, left-hand side, don't do a double jump. You can just jump once, and that should be enough. I was double jumping all the time and dying constantly. Again, just wait till the laser goes away. Sort of stand here in the middle of these two rocks. Wait until it's gone and then give yourself a big double jump. And then, of course, just wait for the laser to go again. And Dreamcast logo your way through life. And there we go. That's one level left to do. Delishy Mundo Mother Flickundo. Right. Now, this one isn't bad. You can just double jump to the next part there. Jump. And then you have to immediately go over. And then do the same again, so you can jump up onto the next platform. Do the same thing again, and we should avoid actually most of the spikes on the bottom doing it that way. Jump up to the left, and then of course just wait for the laser. Oh, see, kept my balls in my pants this time, didn't like that. And there we go, that is all 12 levels. I mean, there's a lot more to do, which again get more progressively difficult, but that is the 1000 under 1000 done, plus the platinum. So, thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. Hope you enjoyed the game and the guide helped as well. If it did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well. Don't forget to check me out on socials, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Patreon. And a big, massive shout out to everyone on Patreon, as usual, for the continued support. You guys and gals are legends. Well, that'll be it then for me, guys and gals. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye-bye. Big love.